Experimenting in video games is like mixing potions in your favorite fantasy setting. Sometimes you combine a lot of things and nothing happens, and other times you get some really, really strange results. So today we're essentially mixing potions in Super Mario 3D World. We'll be combining power-ups in a way they were never intended to get some really funny results. No Luigis were harmed in the making of this video, so I hope you enjoy. And if you do enjoy, consider subscribing. Honestly, I try my best to make entertaining content on a bi-weekly basis. And by subscribing, you will be helping out my channel a lot. So thank you if you decide to do so. So this whole idea started off because I really wanted to know what the true extent of the double cherry was. Just how many copies could actually be produced? This was honestly one of the first things I tried when messing with a game. And it was the unfortunate crashing of my game that made me both super bummed, but also curious. One idea died and another began. So Double Cherry simply crashed out after attempting to spawn a fifth copy of our character. There's actually a lot of in-game objects associated with Double Cherries. So simply trying to add them quickly to a different level doesn't work either as they rely on a few different functions. But this is where things started to get fun because my mind started racing. So I began loading up tons of power-ups into two stages, Double Cherry Pass, because it already had Double Cherries coded into it properly, and Plessy's Plunging Falls, because I just got done recording here for a Captain Toad video, and the first area seemed like a good place to experiment. Double Cherry Pass and Plessy's Plunging Falls were fitted with multiple cap bells, cannon boxes, Plessy's, and ice skates. I wanted to combine as many different power-up instances as possible, so I combined Double Cherries, Cat Suits, Cannon Boxes, and Ice Skates, and attempted to get into Plessy. At first I just tried the Cannon Box and Cat Suit with one Plessy, and surprisingly it worked with four clones. The Cannon Boxes would no longer fire though. I then goofed up while trying to get all my clones on Ice Skates. I accidentally activated two different Plessies, which instantly crashed the game. Attempting this again, I realized that jumping on Plessy with Max Cherries breaks Plessy's back and the game. Plus you can't handle more than four riders. Jumping back into the stage, it was now time to throw ice skates into the mix. But unfortunately, the player discards the ice skates once they land on Plessy. So now let's swap things up and add a Mega Mushroom into the mix, while disabling its power-up purging properties. Keep in mind, this is an attempt to eliminate the property, and it leads to some weird size-changing Luigi's. So I try to kill off all my other small Luigi's to thin the herd, but it looks like Mega-sized characters cannot board Plessy. So we do the next best thing. We board Plessy and then get Mega-sized. Big Luigi just straight up sits on small Luigi, and Plessy can barely support the weight of this giant green lad. Now, while this may seem terrifying, it's not even close to what was coming next. So grabbing a Mega Mushroom and a Cannon Box is interesting. And by interesting, I mean Nightmare Fuel. So you may have seen this in an earlier video, but when a character puts on a mask in Super Mario 3D World, the game developers just shrink the top half of the model to fit inside the box. So their arms are basically reduced to nubs, and the head becomes this weird shrunken thing. But when you throw a Mega Mushroom into the mix, oh, <laughs> things get spicy. So the increased leg size from the Mega Mushroom actually offsets the Cannon Box placement. This causes the Cannon Box to get placed lower, and this means our tiny little head can pop out. It's nightmare fuel for sure, but it gets much worse. When Luigi starts to move around, the box begins to warp in odd ways because the orientation and scaling is out of whack. It's super strange, but things could only get worse, right? So we jump into an ice skate and coast around for a bit. The box stretches out like a pancake as Luigi tries to fit both legs into a single skate. Now, if we grab the cat suit first, then the cannon box, and then the mega mushroom, we get this creepy monstrosity. Normally, the cannon box crops off the catability's tail, so when we're larger, the same thing happens. We just don't have any front legs, and we become an elongated ATST from Star Wars. Jumping into an ice skate is still super terrifying, and honestly, I think it gets worse with the cat suit. If we now climb aboard Plessy, we get this. But that's enough torture for Luigi. Let's swap to Peach. So Giant Peach with a light box is equally as terrifying. And if we get Giant Cat Peach with the light box and retain our cat abilities, the light box glitches out even more. When Peach crouches down as a giant cat with a setup, we can see that her head is actually detached and just floating there. For our last odd experiment, we're going to get in an ice skate and activate the Mega ability normally. When a Mega Mushroom is obtained, there's an animation that normally takes place that scales a player up. When this can't occur properly, like if the player is occupied doing something else, the player will change poses while in the ice skate, and have their dress puffed out a ton as if they are falling from a high place. This pose is frozen until we crash the ice skate. We can also switch to the normal ice skating pose if we jump around a lot and twirl. And it looks like Peach is pushing an invisible shopping cart. And with that, we've successfully brewed some really weird power-up combinations in Super Mario 3D World. 
I hope you enjoyed this bizarre look at some unnatural things, and I'll see you all in my next video really soon. Cheers.